Now let's continue with 4.2. So we are told that Ms. Mapumulo, who is 40 years old, is employed by Endomeni Municipality as a supervisor. She earns a monthly taxable income of 23,500 per month for the 2021-2022 tax year. Ms. Mapumulo, her husband and their child belong to a medical aid scheme. And we are given table 1, which is the tax table. And we are also given table 2, which is the tax rebates and medical aid credits. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the questions. So we'll start with 4.2.1. So we are told that... Um, calculate Ms. Mampumulo's annual taxable income for the 2021-2022 tax year. So we know that Ms. Mampumulo earns 23,500 per month. But the question is saying that calculate Ms. Mampumulo's annual annual which is also referred to as per year and we know that in a year there are 12 months meaning that to calculate Ms. Mampumulo's annual taxable income we just take the 23,500 that she earns in a month and multiply it by 12 which is 12 months and then if we take that and plug it in a calculator 23,500 multiplied by 12. We will be able to see that Ms. Mapumulo earns 282,000 in a year per annum or per year. So now let's move to question 4.2.2. So question 4.2.2 says that Calculate Ms. Mapumulo's medical credits for the tax year in question, meaning that we are calculating for the whole year. So to do this, we go back, we go back to table 2 because remember table 2 is for tax rebates and medical aid credits. So we are given a portion for medical credits per month for medical fund members. So remember that Ms. Mampumulo and her husband, together with their child, belongs to this medical aid. So we have the main member who pays 332 in a year. And the main member in this case will be Ms. Mampumulo. And the first dependent will be the husband and the medical aid cost 332. And, the, and each additional dependent here will be the child pays 224 per month with medical aid cost 224 in a month. So now let's check how much Ms. Mapumulo pays in a month for medical aid. So it's 332 plus 332 plus 224. And our answer will be 888 per month. But remember that the question says that we need to find for, for the tax year, meaning that we need to find, convert this into per annum. So to do that, we just divide by 12. So if we take 888 and multiply, not divide, we just multiply by 12. Apologies for that. So if we take 888 multiplied by 12, we will find how much Ms. Mampumulo is paying for medical aid in a year. So it's 888 multiplied by 12. And she is paying 10,656 rents per year for the medical aid. So now let's move to question 4.2.3. So question 4.2.3 says that name the amount of tax Ms. Mapumulo must pay for the 2021-2022 tax year. So to do that, we need to go back to question 4.2.1. So we know that Ms. Mapumulo in a year, she's, 
she's earning 282,000. So we need to calculate her tax based on what much she earns. So if we check on table one, you will see that there are different tax brackets. So first let's identify which bracket Ms. Mapumulo falls under. So if you check tax bracket number two is for people earning between 216, 201, 2, 3, 3, 7, 800. So Ms. Mapumulo's annual income falls somewhere in between this tax bracket. So remember that the question is asked us to calculate the amount of tax Ms. Mapumulo must pay for the 2021-2022 tax year. So to do that, we now go back to the first tax bracket. And if we go back to the first tax bracket, we will see that a person earning 216, 216,200 is taxed 18%. And if we calculate that, we will see that um, this person, a person earning two, two sixteen, two hundred is taxed thirty eight thousand nine hundred and sixteen. So we have calculated tax for a person earning two sixteen two hundred. So now we need to come to we need to go back to the 282,000 that Ms. Mapumulo ends and then subtract 216 because we have already calculated the tax for 216,200. So we need to subtract it so that we can be able to calculate the remaining using bracket 2 tax rate. So if we calc if we subtract the two, the two eighty two thousand minus two sixty thousand two hundred, we will get sixty five thousand eight hundred. So now, remember that we have already calculated tax for two sixteen two hundred, and now we need to calculate the remaining tax for sixty five thousand eight hundred based on the second tax bracket, which is 26%. So now we are going to calculate 26% of the 65,800. So now we are going to say 65,800 multiplied by 26% for the second tax bracket, the one that Ms. Pampumulo falls within. So if we say 65,800 multiplied by 26%, we will get 17,108. So this, now we can add the two so that we can see how much Ms. Mapumolo is taxed or needs to pay for tax. So let's add 38,916 plus 17,108 and we will get if we add the two we will get plus 38,916 we will get 56,024 56,024 but let's double check this if what we did is correct so if we say 38,916 plus 17,108 we will get 56,024 okay so this is the amount of tax which Ms. Mapumulo needs to pay but we are not done Remember that we are we have things such as the tax rebates, which is an incentive run by the government. So this is to appreciate people paying tax. So we are going to subtract it here and we are also going to subtract the medical credits 
because medical aid is not supposed to be taxed okay so to do that let's first so to get our final amount of tax let's then go to our tax rebate and see what we need to subtract so if we if we go back to our scenario or to our table we are we know that Ms. Mapumulu is 40 years old and based on our tax rebate table we know that um primary the primary tax rebate that each and every person qualifies is for 15714 and the secondary one is for people who are 65 years and older and we know that Ms. Mapumulu is 40 years so she will qualify for the primary tax rebate. So we will see 56,000. Oh, sorry about that. We will see 56,024 minus 15,714. And then we will also subtract the medical credits because medical aid is not supposed to be taxed. So minus 10, 6, 5, 6. So this 10 is coming from 4.2.2. And then to see how much tax Ms. Mapumulo needs to pay, we just say 56,024 minus 15,714 minus um 10 6, 5, 6, and she needs to pay 20 so in total it will be 29654 so that's the amount of tax Ms. Mampomolo needs to pay um let's just double check some of our calculations with 65,800 multiplied by 26 percent we get 17,108 and if we take 17,108 and add 38,916 we get 56,024 so what we did is correct so now let's move to our last question which is question 4.2.4 so this question says that um, name one other tax type of tax besides income tax that is levied on citizens give one reason why it is important to pay taxes so one additional tax you can name Right, which is value added tax. Value added tax. And why is it important to pay tax? Mm. So that government can be able to spend mm, to increase government spending. Increased government spending can be one of the reasons. Yeah. So now we are done with all the questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you on the next one.